Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makai Kodash, double lines to the elders of GM, let's read well. Peace, like taste, to like Aki, one of the four points, Christian truth, sincerity. Peace be unto you, Shalom. But what we have right now is a, a call of a shooting that took place at Cornerstone Church. Uh, the investigation at this point reveals that the shooting took place outside. Uh, we know uh, that the uh, suspected shooter at this point is a male individual. We also have uh, two other deceased individual victims um, that were shot. We believe they were shot outside in the parking lot as well. We received the uh, 911 call at about 6.51 this evening. Uh, the call indicated that there is a shooting taking place outside in the parking lot and that there were a couple victims shot with that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app. Another day, another mass shooting. Uh, beautiful. You know, and it's all of this is, you know, part of this agenda to try to get rid of these guns. There's going to be a great insurrection. They don't want people, you know, basically shooting back, firing, killing people. You know, they, they want to take get these guns off the streets. You know, you got a, you know, the scriptures talks about, you know, basically how Esau's wept, his uh, blessing was the uh, sword. I'll grab that. Should be Genesis 27, I believe, and 40. I'll start at verse 38. Genesis 27, verse 38. It says, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. A sword is basically weaponry. So... The modern day sword is the gun. And Esau feels very, very, Esau is very protective about his, uh, his guns. That's his blessing. Esau loves, you know, the uh, dollar bill. On the back of it, you have eagle holding arrows, which is the weapons, which is his sword. And then you got his olive branch. That olive branch represents peace. So he comes with you like peace, but really he got, you know, wars on his mind. And that is 
you know, the the idea and philosophy that, that he comes with, you know, act like we friends, but really, you know, I'm just going to basically cross you when I get the opportunity. So that, that sword has always been a big key part. Now the elite, they still going to have swords, but they don't want, you know, any, uh, any uh, Egyptians, Babylonians, Americans having swords. Because Esau is not just going to come down and just kill Jake. Jake Esau is going to come down and kill, I think, I think the Georgia Guidestones say, maintain humanity under 500 million, I believe. So that's a lot of, a lot of killing that got to be done. So Esau plans, because Esau... Unlike some Jake, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't believe that every Jake is going to be dark skinned. They understand there's going to be some, some leprous looking Jake. So they got to be killed too. So Esau is going to basically be killing a lot of people in general. And so Esau doesn't want there to be a, a big resistance. And you have a lot of these. Fourth Amendment, not Fourth Amendment, Second Amendment, uh, so I speak, these uh, Second Amendment, you know, uh, protesters, the right to bear arms, they, they believe in it, they believe in it strongly, and they don't want their guns taken away, they got the NRA, the, uh, the National Rifle Association, I think it's believe it's called, that, you know, they don't, you know, since Obama administration, even I'm sure even longer, they've been basically trying to, basically trying to get rid of guns. Every mass shooting, there's get rid of guns, get rid of guns, get rid of guns. You know, just being a, a prisoner of the moment. And that's not, and that's not a, how you make decisions. You don't make decisions on a whim like that. You know, scripture talks about woe to him, the decree, unrighteous decrees and Isaiah 10 and 1, you know, it reminds me of uh, during the time of Saul, the Philistines, they didn't want us, you know, having any uh, smiths in the land, you know, so it takes a smith to make a sword, and so basically we didn't have swords, so that's how Esau wants it. Esau wants it to where there's no swords in the land of Israel. Or not slack either, swords. No uh, weapons in the land of Babylon and, and Egypt. You know, because who want, you, you want to fight somebody that's defenseless. You know, that's why scripture talks about the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We're not going to actually have, you know, these carnal, you know, weapons and, you know, walking around like, you know, you got a, what I think that was a Sakari camp at camp with an AR. If, if, bro, if, if, if you think the, the, the Yao Shai is going to come and save somebody, with an AK with AK forty seven, he's just gonna come and just beam you up, and then the gun just I guess vaporizes and materializes in the thin air, and all of a sudden you just beamed up. That that's not about to happen. You know, you you having a gun? That's you know, there there is a, a scene in the movie Friday. It was a uh, where uh, Craig, who was played by. Uh, What's my man name? Ice Cube, and Debo was played by Tiny Lester. Lister, and uh, it came down to it, and Debo and uh, Craig's about to fight, and I guess uh, Craig had a gun. I think I think I think it was like a dream, or something. I'm not sure if I remember Craig's been a minute, but I remember he had a gun, and he was pointing it at Debo. He was like, "What you gonna do with that besides make me mad?" 
And he was like, put the gun down, son. Put the gun down. Like, yeah. Put the gun down and get your ass whooped like your old man. And, you know, he put the gun down. And it was a sign of bravery because he now he had to rely on his hands, his fists. And that's what his dad taught him. You know, how to fight. You know, the Heavenly Father does not want to actually see you tr deliver yourself or attempt to deliver yourself by your own weaponry. Because guess what Israel will say? Yeah, we had delivered ourselves. Yeah, remember we shot? Yeah, we shot they asses. Okay, there go your Howard shot. <laughs> yep, here he come. Great. No, it's not working like that. The righteous shall scarcely be saved. You know, if, if, if you are already elected and you got that mindset, the most high is going to have, you know, going to get you together somehow. You know, because uh, not every member of the elect is going to be a, a honorary great millstone member. So there could be some members of the elect who who believe in that. But guess what? You will, you will grow out of it or the most high will, you know, take that dross off of you. You know, it's, it's just like Moses. Moses, he, uh, that rod that he had, you know, he turned it, the, uh, the rod turned into a snake, you know, he grabbed it by the tail and it became a rod again. You know, he parted the Red Sea with that rod, you know, when, uh, we was fighting the war with Amalek. He had a, when he, when he put his arm down, put that uh, the the rod in his hand down. Amalek started to prevail, but when he rose up, this hand with the rod, excuse me, with the rod, Israel was prevailing. So it happened to be, it come, it came to pass that there was a rock, and he smote the rock. And this is just making it shorter for time's sake. He smote the rock when he was supposed to speak to the rock. And he hit the rock twice. And by him hitting the rock twice, that was the reason why he wasn't allowed to promise the promised land. Basically, and, and after that incident, he was never told to make any more, you know, uh, uh, miracles with that, with that rock. Why? Because he was starting to trust into that rod. He was starting to put faith in that. That's why he smoked the rock out of disobedience. He did it because he was he was really starting to think that he was doing it. And then my Heavenly Father, through his son Yahweh, had to show him like, yo, no, nah, that's you, you, I told you to speak to the rock and not hit it. You know, so this, these guns, we're we not about to be delivered by guns. So all this is going to be just good for us. You know, and on that note, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Makakwadash. Double honors to the elders of GMS Ruel. Peace, salutations, and shalom.